and you're welcome back to the polls and let's talk about some politics now because barring any hitches the national democratic congress will outdoor its manifesto for the 2016 elections next month now president mahama announced today that the party had finished putting together its manifesto following concerns by sections about the um, from the public about the reluctance of political parties to make details their planning public now campaign officials of the new patriotic party recently said they would not be pressured to come out with their manifesto details fearing their opponents of course they mean the ndc will steal their ideas but speaking at a ceremony in accra to mark the 24th anniversary of the new the national democratic congress uh, they said they are not afraid to reveal their plans going forward into 2016. araba kumsen has just returned from that program she joins us in the studio so araba this um, event i guess was well attended by party faithful how did it go uh it went well jifa it went very well there were lots of party faithful there and uh some personalities high profile personalities of the party there as well but the occasion was used mainly to honor people who had served in various capacities uh, to the party so they they honored people like uh, Joel Aka the famous uh, singer who composed the NDC's anthem they also honored uh, Bobokala the late Bobokala who uh, is a comedian he I think will be buried this weekend yes exactly they honored him among other uh, various regional and national executives, past executives as well, who have contributed in one way or the other to strengthening the party. 24 years is actually not exactly the kind of um, milestone that you would expect they would be celebrating, but I guess they wanted to use this as a launch pad to talk about other things. Um, President Joe Mahama was there. What was the focus of the comments he made today? Well, he spoke about a wide range of issues. Um, he spoke about his government's record, what they had been doing with respect to investment in the infrastructure sector. And he also spoke about the floods, which we heard earlier. He also spoke about the manifesto. And you know, Jifa, the issue of the party's reluctance to, you know, um, come out with their manifesto has been an issue of concern for many Ghanaians. Well, the president says that they are not afraid to come out with their manifesto. It's just that they were taking their time to put the details together. And their manifesto is going to focus mainly on a Greek uh, uh, investment and job creation. We can listen to him. The NDC has a most formidable and impressive and unassailable record, which stands us in good stead to win the mandate of the sovereign people of Ghana once again with the help of God. And I want to give an assurance not only to our founding father based on what he said, but to the whole nation that NDC shall not be responsible for any violence or any disruption of the election of November 2016. If there will be any violence or disruption of the election, it will not come from the NDC. It will come from some other political power. And I hope that all parties in this country will make a commitment that we shall play by the rules to ensure that we have a free, fair, and transparent election. And I'm confident that if we have a free, fair, and transparent election, by the grace of God, inshallah, NDC will emerge victorious once again. Our manifesto, which contains a detailed blueprint on this, will soon be launched and will take the opportunity to engage Ghanaians in a conversation around the manifesto to foster greater understanding and insight into exactly what we have to offer them. We as a party are not going to say we won't launch our manifesto because we are afraid somebody will copy it. Our ideas are original and we will launch our manifesto and if anybody wants they can copy the manifesto our campaign will be based on the issues that matter most to our people we will not threaten our way into power neither shall we make unwarranted attacks on critical state institutions like the electoral commission we will surrender completely to the will of the Ghanaian people in whom sovereignty resides and we shall not say anything 
or act in any way that will jeopardize the security of this nation. President Mahama there. Now, um, this event certainly should have attracted the person who founded the NDC. Was certainly. former President Jerry John Rawlings there? He certainly was. He certainly was. And uh, he also made a few remarks. He talked about um, the party and how far it has come uh, from his Qaeda days. And he, was, he also spoke at length about the upcoming elections and the need for the party, the governing party, to ensure that there's transparency in the, in the process uh, because it is the, the governing party. We can listen to him. It's an election year, as we all know, and the media is awash with political rhetoric. Naturally, the incumbent government must be feeling the heat of the criticism, being the party facing critical assessment from the electorate, including myself, and an opposition that is feeling justified and hungry to unseat the NDC. Ladies and gentlemen, tempers may rise and angry words exchanged, but the NDC must not allow its desire to stay in power to compel its leaders at various levels to descend into the gutters and contribute to an atmosphere of insecurity. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, we have to accept criticism in good faith and recognize the fact that criticism is quite often the best form of praise. It offers you an opportunity to assess your weakness and better appreciate how others perceive you. Today, it is not uncommon for there to be multitude, multiple uncontradictory responses from government officials to allegations against the government or party. The NDC will have to lead all of us involved in the quest for power in ensuring that this year's election is concluded in an atmosphere of transparency, ensuring free and fair elections devoid of unfortunate incidents will be a huge plus and credit to the NDC. Former President Rawlings, the founder of the National Democratic Congress. So I guess it was an opportunity to bring together, I would say, the old and the new because there's a certain generation moving. I would say upcoming. a lot more of the old guard uh, showed up, turned up at the event. I mean, people like Ama Benyuado, yes, former Central member of the Council of State. Exactly. She's grown quite old now. And uh, I spoke to her, but she says that, you know, she misses her her activism days, days, you know. She was and, quite uh, the activist. Exactly. Lee Okran and, mm -hmm. uh, you know, all, a, a lot of Elijah people Kudia, there. Yeah. Exactly. They all were right. all there. All right. Thank you very much, Araba Kumsen, Join News Editor here.